hello everyone you all are welcome back to my channel i greet you all i call it to all your time good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are watching this video for that is my great thing i so much appreciate every one of you that watch my video that share my video may god bless you Oh, if you never subscribe for this my channel, do me a favor and subscribe and hit the bell so that if I drop on, you'll be the first person to receive. Okay, my people, I bring the updates. Make we watch, make we put our comment, put our opinion there. What do you think concerning this video? Put it in the comment section. Okay, make I put the full video, make we watch. Fellow your friends. This is a Mecca living stone. God bless you wherever you are. I'm here this night to respond to the bombing of a supermarket in Olu and the killing of innocent Biafrans. I know by the time you wake up in the morning, you'll get this message. And as much as you can, Spread it around. <clears throat> I want to thank God that Simon Epa spoke like a dragon. I heard him very well. He spoke my mind. I should have been out before now to make this comment that I was waiting for Simon Epa to speak because we have a leader spokesperson for the Biafran people. This is not yet winter, but I'm putting on this dress. Inside is a white, and outside is red and black. This is to show you my original intention in this Biafran struggle. A clear conscience fighting for our people to be liberated and free with no intention to harm anybody. But what happened in our law is a provocation. And that's why I had to cover that white and put on this red and black. And of course, you know what it signifies in the Bible. I want to make it abundantly clear that their friends should be prepared for the inevitable because this is the last straw that has broken the camel's back. They are pushing us, provoking us into acting on time. I told you some time ago that these people are not planning to wait till 2023. They have another agenda. While the OP people supporters are talking of 2023 election, I told you that the Fulanis are carrying out an agenda before that time. And they can only do it boldly if they have the backing of the federal government. And therefore, I'm asking you, Bia France, to brace up for the inevitable. The provocation has gone to the level that we can no longer bear it. I've been suing for peace, letting the whole world hear us that we are being killed and raped and maimed and decimated, that they should speak against this injustice. But it looks like the world does not want to say anything and we start reacting. And this unprovoked attack in a place where they know the Eastern Security Network don't have any camp just to go and kill innocent civilians, bombard stores, burn their properties and their goods to reduce them down financially. I am very, very angry. I feel very bad about it. Somebody may say that he says he's a man of God. Why is he talking like this? If you ask that kind of question, May the Nigerian government kill your own family and your children. May they burn down your houses and rape your women and daughters. And then we'll see how you feel, 
how those people that were killed today, how they felt before they died, how their family people are feeling right now. And so I'm very, very angry. I'm very pained. And I'm holding myself from talking. Because when Biafra wants to act, they will act collectively as a people, as a group. It is evident that as soon as the NSO, the Southern Command of ESM was formed by those, you see China Sanguru orders, the next thing you are hearing is the bombing of our people, innocent civilians, because they don't care about them. You have heard what Simon Epa said. If you see any police block, roadblock in Biafra land, you have to deal with them expeditiously. But that does not mean we're just talking from afar. He didn't babu nobi. Or nani wama. Or we heli leka ni kunono. But I want you people to understand. We are going to retaliate. <laughs>